put in a new grub tail on. Got an 11 inch boneyard grub tail, white. They can't resist it. Okay guys, so we're running electric downriggers here. And unlike every other kind of fishing, when the rod goes slack, there's a fish on. Oh really? So okay. just start reeling as fast as you can because we want to get the slack out of the line. When it first pops out, there's going to be about 20 feet of slack. Now how deep are we running the downrigger? Well, they're going to set one at 120 and the other at 85 and we'll try and figure out where the fish are. Sounds good. And you're using light line because otherwise they won't hit it, huh? That's right. I got you. 20 well, pound. Light line, okay. little finesse. See where we're going. Good eating. Usually when the king salmon bites, you'll see a little wiggle in the rod and then it just goes slack. When that happens, it's a salmon. Okay. Almost always. Now, are we clipped into the downrigger already? Yes. Okay. Up here, we have really heavy current, so I'm actually using a 12 pound downrigger ball, which is pretty heavy. Um, electric downriggers, because we do a lot of trolling like this, and it's really nice to just hit a button and have your 12 pound ball brought up all the way to the surface while you reel yeah. the fish. Yeah. Now when he hits it, is he going to knock it out of the clip? He's going to knock it out of the clip. When he pulls it out of that clip, that's actually is what's setting the hook. Okay. So there's no reason. Oh, that's why it goes slack, huh? Right. Okay. And there's no reason to set the hook because... Do we leave the downrigger down or we want to pick up... We're going to reel it up. Okay, so we hook up, we're going to pick up that downrigger. Roger that. Okay. It's about to pop. Hey, Doc. It's on. Fish on. Oh, wonderful. And like you said, don't horse it. King, buddy. Don't horse him. There's a fish on. on this one, too. Let me slide in here. Come on. Right. Go on. Come catch this one. You don't need a belt on this. <clears throat> King salmon, baby. Wonderful. Oh, oh, oh this pole, one came on. The there you was a fish on this one when he came on. He's legal, but we want to make darn sure. He's legal. Let me get him out the net. Yeah, what hit that fish like that? Oh, sea lion? Yeah. Wow. Doc water. with the Deer Harbor, Alaska, King Salmon. Gonna eat good tonight, I'm fellas. Telling you, baby. Looking hey. good. Doc, your wish came true. I got my King Salmon. We had two of them hooked up, folks, and Huge, one I had got off. This is the life, baby. Okay. Rob, I'm going to tell you what, if this is what we can do in a half a day, what are we going to do when we fish all day? It's going to be ugly, buddy. It's going to be ugly. I love ugly. Now look, tell us about these orange fish, because we're not from around here. We don't know what they are and how old are they? Okay, well, this big one here is going to be over 100 years old. Wow. The rest of these are 50, 60 years. Wow. Very long-lived fish. A couple lings, king salmon, black bass, quillback, pretty good day of bottom fishing. Well, we had a great day. Doc Barnett wanted to get a salmon. We got it. Oh, actually, he got it. We didn't. He did it. We had a great day. We look forward to tomorrow. This has been a wonderful day. Mike Lane here in Alaska for Sportsman's Paradise. And this segment has been brought to you by Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Well, here I am contemplating how beautiful the scenery is and how lucky we are to get this opportunity. So I want to thank Rob, and I want to thank Gino and his wife and Doc and everybody that was involved in making this possible. This place is awesome. Here we are, start of day two. First ride in the water, and we have a fish on. It looks like a ling, I think. It is. Uh, yeah, I got him right here. Let's see if he's cute. Like, he looks legal. I yeah, he is. Whoa, whoa, careful, Mike. You're going to pull it out of him, buddy. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, he's not. doesn't look like he's hooked too good, huh? Especially when they're up on the surface. Did I, tell me what I did wrong, if anything, hmm. so I'll learn. Well, just. Uh, be careful when it gets up to the surface, don't pull up on it, pull more to the surface. Okay, all right. Well, anyway, like I was saying, day two, first ride in the water. 
Yeah, we got a Lincard on. That's a Lincard, right? Yeah, he's gonna yeah. be people too, I believe. Here it comes again. Okay. We'll try it again. Okay. Oop. Yeah, he looks like he'll be legal, huh? I believe he is. Now look, I always say here we are down here. Here we are up here in Alaska. First rod in the water, beautiful wing cod. Doesn't get any better than this. Everything's bigger in Alaska. <laughs> Got him. Now it's just a question of who's going to get their fish first. If he's getting easier as he comes up, it's going to be a big yellow eye. Two per year, yellow eyes. Big yellow eye. Look at that beauty. Woo! Oh, baby! Oh, that's a good one. Boy, I believe he's bigger than one I caught. You get what you asked for, don't you? Good job, buddy. Thank you, man. That put it right on him. About four jigs, I got him. Look at that, baby. Coming up to Alaska, fish with Rob. Prettiest, prettiest, fish, prettiest fish in the ocean, buddy. Thank you, Rob. Good job, my man. Thank you, man. I got to go gap one more here. Head looks too big. Big old lean cod. Probably about 35 pounds. There you go. Yeah. We're going to start on the deep side of the pinnacle, and the wind and the tide is going to push us up. It's going to get shallower and shallower, so we're going to have to adjust our depth here until we find the fish. You know, buddy, you just gotta remember, fish's brain is only this big. <laughs> Mine's this big. <laughs> so I have an advantage. Big. It's a lean cod. He's a hey. little too long. I got him, I got him. I don't know what he is, but I got him. <laughs> he might be the right one. Bring him to me, buddy. He's he's barely hooked. No, he's hooked good enough. He's legal. I think we got our lane. <clears throat> Standing here with new friends? Was a my keeper Ling God. <laughs> oh, this wide for chunky. Ooh. Be careful, Mike. He might might eat your camera. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so we're setting up to do some halibut fishing here. In the winter time, all of our halibut are out in the ocean. In the summertime, they come up in here shallow, you know, 100 to 300 feet deep. They gotta come right through here. This is like the halibut highway. And uh, you can see we've got a really strong current. We've got three pounds of lead here and four here, and it's still scoping way back. So we're hoping that our baits, we've got pollock, sole, herring, squid, that current's gonna carry that scent out and they're gonna follow that scent trail up to our baits and hopefully eat our baits. 
and I want to just kind of show you how the halibut bite's going to take place. They are, they nibble. It's a really strange bite. So it's going to be a tap, 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 tap. And as a matter of fact, there may be one tapping right now, but it's going to tap and, and just be patient because it takes them a minute to decide they're going to really eat it. And when they do, buddy, they're going to fold this thing over. When they do, just take a couple cranks, circle hook sets itself, and we'll put them in the box. So that's what we're looking for, a little tap, tap, tap. So we want a commitment before we do it. Yes, patience. We used to say if you're drinking a cup of coffee and you get a bite, mm -hmm. finish your cup of coffee, then you get them. Because this is a J-hook, not a circle hook, right. you're going to have to set it. Set the hook. So set them hard and firm, right. not like build ants over right. your head, but yeah. hard and firm and just keep your rod at eye level and keep the line real tight. Okay. That lead's working against you trying to pull okay. it out for and you. When he wants to, he'll take off, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, just, you might slow him down, but you ain't going to stop him, buddy. So Mike, if you get bit on that jig and you miss him or whatever happens, just drop it down and let it sit on the bottom for a minute. Sometimes they come back and eat it. Go around the go motor, buddy. Go over something. Go. Watch the kicker. I got it. Everybody take this. Just for a second, hold it. Just hold it. Now put it back in the rod hole. Take your time, Mike. I got to get my harpoon out, buddy. It may be just a big fish. Baby. All right. We got somebody's got to get that other pole. I am. Let me try. You you pass it. 